from Cyprus Insight and today we're having Sunday dinner at Mambo's with some friends. Come and join us. Right, so where are we? We're at Mambo's and we've got this lovely dinner here. Oh, Sunday roast, here we are. Let's have a look at that. Small 750, large 990, or if you're a little bit of a, bit of a pig, you can have the extra large at 1090. That's it. Right, what are we having? Hi everybody, look, got friends here. Hey yeah. Looking forward to a nice Sunday roast. Guys, I don't know why, but they've cut his pork chop up. Look, it's come ready cut. I don't, I don't know if they think you're elderly or something. So, ladies, who's having a small lamb? Anyway, lamb. my chicken burger looks Pork great. Thank you. Oh, what you got there? Small, small, big, small, big, small lamb. lamb. Oh, it's a small a Sunday lamb. lunch. Oh, Big one. Who's having a large beef? Yes, yes. My, <laughs> my friend. A small, a small lamb. You're having a large lamb. Doesn't matter. Oh look, oh look, you're having a salad, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's have a look at it then. Oh, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Look. Can we have some drinks, please? Yes, I'll I think you've got some avocado on top yeah, of there, haven't you? Oh. No, no, club salad. Look guys, we've got a little bit of dessert going on. Chocolate cake. We've got, looks like apple ice crumble. Cream. Ice cream crumble. Ice cream crumble and crumble and black forest. And one kilo of ice cream for my mate. <laughs> so there we are we've got some apple crumble and some more ice cream custard. oh custard to go on top well guys I'm amazed oh it doesn't get better than this on it doesn't take much to amaze me no that's true Nick but I am amazed oh all the ice cream's gone Nick <laughs> oh, there is some over there, out of reach. Nothing. <laughs> right, we were all quite full up after our main course, but we managed to polish all this off. There we go. Delish. <laughs> right, well, thank you very much. Look, there's our friends with all full up tummies. And this is Andrew. Our Andrew from... Andrew's Petra Bazaar <laughs> and so we're walking up to Valeros aren't we guys have a look around there too right so we've had a lovely Sunday lunch we're gonna have a little walk down at Caparis, there's Grand Slams. And there is Phalaros, guys. Harry would like to look at Phalaros, and I'm sure some other people might be interested. It's quite a famous steak house. There it is, and there we are. Oh, it's quite busy this Sunday lunchtime. There we are, and there's the menu. There we go, oh, it's got salads as well. And there's the steaks, look. Look, you can have an Angus cowboy steak. I think we've got a special going on. Yep. There's a sirloin steak with pepper sauce. That's $13.95. Very reasonable. Right, 
right, I'm going to risk my life and limb, guys. Cross road. Oh, my God. Right, so that's Fadleros restaurant. Oh, look. That's some fresh fruit and veg turned up. Hello. There they are. Probably delivering to one of the restaurants along here. Definitely got to walk off those afters, they were delish. So as I said before guys, this is Caparis. And there's quite a lot of places to eat and drink down here. Very popular with the locals. And there we are, Mambo's. So if you're down Caparis guys, really nice meal at Mambo's. Right Wendy, we're at this complex, Caladis, Caladis, there we are, and it's a private place, it's got barriers, and you have to show a little card to the machine to let you in, there we are, lovely flats aren't they, there's flats and there's a little houses down there look and I think they've got a gym and spa area right let's go down there and have a look shall we I'm not sure where the gym and spa is, but here's the pool area, and they've got a bar, but it's all locked up. There's people there, but you need the card to get in. So there we are, there's the bar and the pool area. <laughs> Yeah, nice and neat and tidy area. There we are. Block BM. Yeah, really nice apartments. Now we're off to Panera. and we're at the end of Caparis now. I've seen quite a few holiday reps around. Don't forget this nice bakery at the end of Caparis. It's really nice in there. I think we videoed that once. asking where the aquarium is and it's just here on our left you can see it's quite a big sign welcome to the ocean aquarium park so it's just left there okay on the left is the famous Levis hotel and Yanna has invited us in to have a look around. I think she's had a few rooms refurbished. So we'll have a look, see what it's like. 
Whoa, nearly missed it, guys, on our left. There we are. Lovely little car park. Alright, so there it is, guys, the Levis Hotel. Very nice place in Panera. All running. Looks like the gardeners have been in. Right, so we're going to go round the side and have a look in the garden and the pool area. So here we are round the side. There you go, Jack. And Mike wants to have a look as well. What oh, a lovely pool. Okay, let's go inside. Look at that lovely restaurant, look. Comfy seats, aren't they? Hello. Look at these. They're nice seats, aren't they? Look, they're made of metal. Look. Comfy, let's try one. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, just what I could do with at the moment. There's a lovely big screen there if you want to sit at reception. I've just sat here and it's beautiful air-conditioned reception, so I don't really want to get up. It's so comfy. Right, so the nice lady's going to take us up to one of the rooms and have a look around. There we are, level four. After you, ladies. <laughs> Off we go. Oh, what a lovely view, even from the back. There we are. Look at that, guys. This is the one. Oh, wow. Oh, now, this is lovely, guys. So we've got uh, two singles made up as a double there. And to bonus a settee, and if you're not on a little bit of an economy holiday, we've got the kitchenette and your own fridge. And let's have a look at the bathroom, shall we? That's most people's favourite. Oh, nice big shower. Look at that. Guys, no hanky panky in there, please. It's a big shower and lovely area, as they say. Right, let's have a look at the balcony. Oh, look at this. Look at that view. It's a big balcony. It's locked at the moment. But there's the view, guys. Isn't that lovely? Look. Fantastic. And you can see it's not far from the beach. So I'm well impressed because a lot of the hotels haven't got an area for you to lounge around. But here, yes, you have. Okay, well what a fantastic view even from your bedroom because there's a balcony as well that you can look out from your own bed straight out to the sea. Of course we've got a few stripes here so the birds don't hit the glass or indeed if you've had a few tipples you don't hit the glass. So that's the view from the back of the hotel, which isn't unpleasant. What a great place, eh? And the staff are so polite. Ooh. Right, so back at reception. And a lovely dining area, as I said before. There's a bar, look. It's like an indoor and outdoor bar. 
Well, I could sit in reception for hours, guys. Watch the world go by. Right, thank you very much, ladies. See you again. Bye bye. As I said before in another video, all the staff here are very, very friendly. And of course, there's a convenient supermarket just outside if you want to use the facilities in your room. Right, so a little added bonus, guys. We're going to have a little walk down towards the coast. So we've just left the Leavers Hotel and I showed you it from the balcony. Let me just turn around there and show you the balcony we went on. There it is up there. Okay. And then what I do is I walk down towards the coast okay. see how long it takes to walk to the beach hello guys Hi. hello little pussy cats there we go it's a dive shop look and we've got a dance and theater school there are you with the dance and theater school or the oh you oh both there you are so we've got a bit of dancing and theatre if you fancy in the evening and then scoobering during the day. You always run across someone interesting on these walks, don't you? Who did we run across yesterday or the day before? Can't remember now. Oh, it was the guys in that new hotel. The Flamingo Paradise. We would just thought we'd take a little glimpse. Walked in and bang. We had the head waiter there. And one of the bar staff. Come to tell us all about the new Flamingo Paradise Hotel. Right, so we're walking down. And we're timing it. We're timing how long it takes you from the levers down to the beach. It's quite a nice little walk, isn't it? It's not too far. Now, do we know the name of the beach that will hit? No, I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to sack this staff. Right guys, they've called it the Wedding Beach because uh, there is a wedding venue down here. You can get married, I think it's like a pergola. You can have your photos done there, etc, etc. We'll probably find that when we get there. Now, another reason we're walking down here is to see how they're getting on with the coastal path. Our lovely coastal path walk. Be interesting to see how they're getting on. And of course, off season when we come down here in the winter to do our evening walk, we'll be walking on uh, a new path along this bit oh looks like they've got the decking up there isn't it on pallets let's go across the road and see what it is looks like hardwood decking thick planks oh sorry it's a bit windy Yep, there it is, all cut and ready to go down. There it is. Oh, I could smell the oil. It's lovely, look at that. Aren't they lovely? Wow. 
Right guys, so it's the start of the tourist season so they've made it all safe and there's an alternative route here you see and they're carrying on round this way you see there, round here that's all been cordoned off you can see the hardwood decking I'll go round this way so you can see what's happening So this is a, an alternate way to go, alternative should I say. It is all signposted to the main beach, you see. Right. There's some more of the decking. And if you can remember, we came past here off season and there wasn't any steps, we had to climb down. And this beach was completely empty. And look at it now, guys. All being cleared. You can see the ramps that they were making, if you can remember. And the retaining walls. It's all finished. Over there, they were doing a ramp for boats, I think. And the last video, there was a nice green van coming down and the beach was empty. It was piled up with sand from the JCBs. And I was just saying, why is the ice cream van coming down? There's no one here. And these steps weren't here. I'll show you them. There we are. Got brand new steps going down to the beach. I think we walked down this bit and one of the crew fell over. But now, totally safe. And look. They've got a platform going out, look. That's not finished yet. And of course it's been cordoned off. Everything made safe. So, what a lovely beach. Very sheltered, look. Great for the kids and stuff, isn't it? Look how shallow it is all the way out. So as I said before, when I came down here in the winter, that they will make everything tidy and safe for during the tourist season. And sure enough they have. The local council have not let me down. Right, so there's the wedding venue that I'm going on about. It's like a pergola. It's a nice setting, look. There it is. And I think you book it through the local council and they will sort out some one to come and sort you out here, sort out the wedding. A convenient located bench over there. Right, back towards the Leavers Hotel. And it took just four minutes to get to the beach from the Levis. That's no, not too bad at all. So if you're a bit drunk, probably five. Here we are. Right, Sean, it's a bit windy, so I'll speak up. There's the Golden Coast Hotel. And we'll go inside and have a look around. That's a bike stands over there. Oh, I'll tell you what, we're going to go this way actually. Because uh, we've just spotted a walk through pergola. Looks really pretty. So there's more rooms over there, and look, see, we're going to walk through this bit. There we are, isn't it nice, isn't it? And it's sheltered.
can we get in this way? Oh yeah, it goes up to the front, look. Yeah. Yeah. I mean we could have come in that way, but it doesn't matter, that was nice. Alright, let's go this way. Hello. Oh, a nice lobby. Should we have a seat? Let's sit down for a minute. We're going to sit down for a minute on these comfy chairs and see what they're like. Look, I like this one. Oh, there's the bar, look. Let's try these chairs. Oh, oh wow, we're comfy. Right. Right, that's your lot. I'm going to have a nap here. Not really. Let's get up. Oh, things I'll do for you guys. Right, I'm going to go outside and have a look around. Right, so we'll show you the swimming pool area from this veranda. That's the bar and uh, stage there for an evening entertainment. Oh, it's very busy. Look, isn't that nice, look? So what we got, we've got uh, a little like, uh, is that a kid's area, would you think? Yeah, there's steps going down to it, so I think you can swim there. You can swim in there. And then there's another pool over there, and then there's a sp splash pool there with the slides going into it. And a bar, and there's a church there, oh, and a little area where you would get married. Okay and uh, the restaurants over there you see right we'll walk that way so guys it's a lovely area over there if you want to get married there's a windmill a church and a lovely gardens and if you've come over here and you're already married you can sort of like maybe pick someone else up and just marry them as well just so you can make use of the facilities I'm sure your wife that you come with won't mind right so there's the restaurant and oh it's a, it's a buffet yeah and then I just want to see over here it's like a pond Look, there we are. So we've got a pond where you can sit and have your dinner. Look here, and it goes over here as well. Just here on the right, some more of the pond. Look, in the gardens, and then here you'd sit and have your dinner if you want, right next to the pond in the gardens so it's got good landscaping I would say well thought out area there's another church down there look can you see it that would be the public church oh guys the crews just told me that that is St Nicholas at St Nicholas's Harbour Okay, so there you are. It's a nice hotel, isn't it? Nice grounds, really nice pool next to the uh, sea, sea views, all that you want and more. There's the rooms up there, you see facing the sea oh they've got another stage looks like for entertainment 
Right, there you go, Sean. What a lovely hotel, eh? The Golden Coast. Definitely one to look out for. Yeah, at the front, and there's the sea just here. I'll point it out. There it is, and there's the harbour. Okay, Suzanne, we're at the Infinity Blue. Unfortunately, it's still closed. Look, there's the balconies, and there's the pool area. And it is facing the sea. It's a really lovely hotel. We have been round the outside of this one before, and I'm sure the gates are locked. No, they're open. So I'll... Um, quickly go around the outside for you to have a look around so it's a lovely little pool and a beautiful secluded beach there it's a bit windy today here it is well sheltered this beach I know the winds blowing a hooli and uh, there's people out there swimming no problems at all. So that was the Infinity Blue and it's a great location. Yeah, that's next door's swim pool, but this pool, the small pool there belongs to this hotel and there is a green area as well. So, it is a nice place. Right, Cianne, this is the Tokos Gardens. It's not open at the moment. It's one street back from the say the seafront and uh, it's very windy so we're going to have a look round I think we came round there before the swimming pool is still empty and the gardeners have not been in there's some pallets here yep uh, looks like it's uh, not open yet at all. Uh, there's no cleaning going on. There, the gardeners have got to come in and tidy up all this area. The swimming pool is empty. There. There's a bar area anyway. I'll come here where it's uh, not windy. Look, there's the entertainment area. Okay, bar area bar there and looks like it's got nice gardens all the way round big swimming pool very deep there and then a kids pool there and as I said it's not really too much of a problem I'm sure they're going to get this place tidied up as soon as they're ready to open not sure when they're going to open and all these plants have got to be moved get them out of the way so yeah, needs a bit of a tidy up at the moment. Right, so it's going to get windy again because I'm going to go around the side. Next door's open. Look, I'll show you if you want. Look, that's open. We went in there the other day. That's the uh, Bohemian Rhapsody Hotel. Well, no, it's the Bohemian Hotel. And that's all open. So I'm sure it's all be tidied up by the time you get here if you're coming. There it is. Yeah. Right guys. 
guys so that's the end of this video that was a great visit to that Levis hotel wasn't that lovely and the other places were equally nice and we checked out the coastal path and now I'm off to give a quote for another customer just going to open a gym so we need to refurbishing so I'm going to have a little workout there don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below